Welcome to my first drum lesson on YouTube. My name is Kremo Music, but you can also call me Julian. I am doing YouTube videos, mainly drum covers, for over a year now. And I also part-time teach kids and young adults how to play the drums. So I thought, why not put these things together? So for today, I chose the song Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day. One of my favorite songs to teach my students, or let's say offer them, as soon as I think it's time that they learn how to play to music by applying what we learned prior. And also, the song is very easy to break down. It's just three main ingredients that you need to jam along to the song before you get into some details like fills and such stuff. So, let me show you, first of all, how to play the rhythms in a basic way, and then also how I add a little bit of flavor to it once you get the hang of the rhythm itself. So, the intro section of the song starts off with just vocals and guitar, and then a little bit later, the drums slowly start to kick in with very low intensity, and then transition to a more intense part, but it's still the same rhythm. And let me just show you how I break down the first part. And one more time with the metronome. So this is the first part of the intro section for the drums. Very tame, very low energy, just bass drum, hi-hat pedal, and a little bit of right. And this this rhythm, these this like my teacher called it tung tuk pa, tung tung pa. This develops a little bit further into way more energy and way more volume with the floor tom added being added into that and the snare drum. So let me show you how how to do this. And one more time with the metronome. So these are the two ingredients you need for the intro section. And the nice thing about this is you don't just learn this for the intro section. This gets recycled throughout the song again and again. So for now, I'm going to play these two parts back to back with the metronome and what I'm also going to do in a second run is adding my kind of flavor to it. Okay, now to add a little bit of flavor, mainly in the second part of the intro section. Okay, let's recap real quick what I actually did here to add my so-called flavor. First of all, in the first part of the intro section, I didn't add anything because I want to keep that as low energy and as tame as possible to keep the feeling and the pace of the song. But then when the ex energy actually kicks up, I added a second floor tom and of course my left hand to play both toms at the same time. And to add in some extra punch, I added for the snare also my second hand but a little a little bit slightly set off to get a little bit of a flam feeling and i didn't just play the hi-hat like usual what i did was while i played it i opened it and then later on i closed it to give it 
just this little bit more of energy. This is basically all I did. You don't need this, but after you play this for a while and you get down the rhythm, it's fun to experiment and give it a little bit of your own spin. Okay, now that we're done with the intro section, we go straight to the chorus, which is the next part of the song. And basically you only need to know one rhythm slash beat for this and a little bit extra for the bridge, but that's not too important. But I'll show you that as well. Okay, and one more time with a metronome. Okay, this was what you need to jam along to the chorus section, besides some fill-ins here and there. And now I'm going to show you a little intersection that is going to be used later on to get out of the chorus and basically end the song as well. And again, one more time with the metronome. Okay, these were all the parts that you actually need to jam along to wake me up when September ends. Of course, there's lots and lots of little fill-ins all throughout the chorus, but I think that would be too much detail and would make the video way too long and bloated to go over these. But instead of that, I will link to my drum cover from last year of the song. There you can see where I play the fill-ins and what kind of fill-ins I actually play to get a feel for that. If you like this video and if you would like to see more, please give me some feedback. I would love to do more. I just need to know which songs would be interesting. Maybe some songs I already recorded. Maybe some songs to actually record for the future and break down after that. Just tell me. Are you a drummer yourself? Do you want to be a drummer? And would this kind of content help you along your journey? Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Now that you made it to the end of the video, why don't you consider leaving a like, subscribe to the channel and since you are into drum content, why not click on one of the videos on your screen right now. Thank you for watching.